Picture this. The year is 1803 in Lujan, France. Young Ferdinand Berthier steps into the Institut National de Jeunes Sur de Paris, marking a historic moment. Inspired by Roche-Ambroise Bébillon, Jean Massieu, and Laurent Clerc, Berthier lights a beacon of hope for the deaf community. By 27, he's a professor. In 1837, he establishes the Société Centrale des Sourdes Muets, a first for deaf representation. He champions deaf identity and sign language while also authoring books on deaf culture. In 1886, he earns the Chevalier de la Légion d'Honneur, a first for a deaf person. His legacy, still remembered and celebrated, echoes in every corner of deaf culture today.